What up, YouTube? Before we start the video, we got a very important announcement for you. That's right, we have our new milestone giveaway for 2,000 subscribers. That is a CGC 9.8 graded Thor number one. This cover is a Nick Klein sketch variant that is also signed by Donny Gates. What? Are you crazy? <laughs> yes, we are. When we hit 2,000 subs, we're giving away this bad boy. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and give us a like. It would be much appreciated because we want to give this away, but we only can do that when we hit 2,000 subs. Let's get to the video. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Jim from Two Fat Guys Pool List, and I've got another fresh new comic book day video for you for the week of September 18th. And it's a doozy, guys. It's probably the fattest pool we've had in a long time, and that's not even counting if Nate had his books on. Um, but he doesn't because he's not going to be on this week's show. But that being said, it's still fat. It is a thick boy. So we might as well just get to it. We're going to kick it off with our independence. Over at Image Comics, we have Falling in Love on the Path to Hell, issue number four from Gary Jerry. This has been a wonderful ride, a wonderful book that uh, has only gotten better as it goes, as it progresses. I mean, you know, usually that's the case, but, you know, issue one was cool, but I was just we didn't know exactly. You know, there was some questions to be answered and we're just getting every issue. We're getting more and more and more. Issue three was fantastic. I can't wait for issue four where we're kind of going to see a coalition between this gunslinger and this samurai. And I don't know, man, it's been great. And I, I can't wait to read it. All right. After that, we got a new one from Daniel Warren Johnson. And that is the moon is following us. Issue number one. We've got the same artist that was on that uh, Harley Quinn series that I think a lot of people didn't like. He's the cover artist. I absolutely adore it. I think it's great. A new Daniel Warren Johnson <laughs> comic, a sci fi looks like. I don't know. I am super stoked for this. There's another book on this pool that is probably most definitely going to be my pick of the week, but there probably will be two because of this book alone. So can't wait for it. Love the cover. I think this is going to be it's going to be awesome. Like Indies probably will take it this week when it comes to like just enthusiasm and new shit that's coming out. I think it's going to be great. All right. After that, from Karen Gillen, we have the power fantasy issue number two. Issue number one was a complete surprise. I don't know why it was, but it was. I mean, it's Karen Gillen. Come on. Uh, but this idea of these beings on Earth that have quite literally an entire nuclear arsenal within them, the amount of power so that, you know, ha they have to coincide. They have to work together. They can't get into any conflicts with one another, even Earth. In issue one, there was a massive mic drop when it comes to their just existence. So I'll be very interested to see what we do with this, where it goes, and probably, again, what, what bombshell will drop in this issue, because I feel like Karen Gillan, that's just what he's going to do with this series. All right, we all know, <clears throat> got Ultra Mega issue number five. It's back, baby, from James uh, Heron. This is my potential pick of the week. This is my pick of the week. That's Jim's pick of the week. But listen, I understand that that's like premature, but it just is because this, this, have you, if you've not read Ultra Mega, go out, get the trade now or go try to find the singles if you're lucky enough. But this is an awesome story. We got Kaiju, we got steampunk, we've got, I mean, all kinds of stuff, science fiction. It's insane. It is so good. The artwork is fantastic. It's gruesome. It can be very violent. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to go read the trade before I read this. Like, that's how excited I am for it. It's going to be phenomenal. So if you're not already reading Ultra Mega and any of the things that I just said interest you, pick this up and go pick up the trade right now. All right, jumping over to DC, we have an absolute power tie-in, not inside of an ongoing. We have a, a one-shot tie-in, Super Sun, dealing with John. You know, I'm, I'm sure this will kind of just give us like, you know, the what happened in between issues. That's fine. Um, but, I, you know, I'm going to read it because it's John. I like John and I do like the direction they went with John in the absolute power event. So maybe we'll get a little bit of some snippets here and there, tidbits of what actually happened. Um, probably. We'll see. I, I, you know, the fact that it's John helps it. But as for all the other absolute power tie-ins that we've been reading, it just haven't hit for me. So hopefully this one does. After that, we have World's Finest, issue number 31. We have a new artist. We still have Mark Wade on the book is on writing. I am looking forward to this just to kind of see like this new arc, new artist. Wait and see. I mean, you got some pretty massive shoes to fill with Dan Mora, uh, but I'm going to give it a shot. All right, we have an absolute power tie-in in Wonder Woman, issue number 13. Eh, 
I really don't. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to read it. Like, <laughs> I'm still picking it up literally for the count. But uh, you'll find out on game day this Saturday. If we're reading it, because I just I don't know. I'm not I'm not I'm not digging it. Hey, I'm interrupting the video. It's only because I've got something really important to tell you. I know you know what we're giving away when we hit 2000 subscribers. I got to let you know about what we're giving away when we hit 1250 subscribers. We're giving away this uncanny X-Men number one signed by Jim Chung. CVC grade 9.8. When we hit 1250 subscribers, you could potentially win this, but you have to be subscribed to our channel. So hit that sub button. Ring that bell, give us a like. Let's get back to the video, shall we? All right, jumping over to Marvel, we're gonna kick it off with the Avengers issue number 18. This has been super fun. Storm's on the team now, or, or she's gonna be on the team. She's been asked to be on the team. We got Hyperion coming back, you know, from like the moon, you know, saying like, yo, I don't wanna live life anymore. Life's been a lie, so I'm gonna come blow up Earth. Sounds great to me. Sounds great to me. Now, it does this get starring the X-Men. Maybe we'll get more than just Storm. Maybe we'll get the team. Who knows? I mean, obviously, you know, McKay is writing uh, X-Men. So, like, for them to come over, I think, is not, you know, out of the realm of possibility. I don't think that's hard to believe. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But I am very intrigued because Hyperion, like, just threw down the gauntlet in the last issue saying, like, yo, life's a lie. I'm blowing up the Earth. And the Avengers like, we just got rid of vampires. <laughs> so... I am looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fun. Ooh, we got a new number one, Dazzler. And I am looking forward to this as well. I, I'm giving all the new X-Men books at least issue one or at least the first arc. Uh, we've got Dazzler going on a world tour. But of, of course, like things are going to go awry. And I, I just can't wait for it. I, I am. Uh, I'm excited for this one for sure. Does it have pick of the week potential? We'll wait and see. But. I'm pretty excited about this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, next up we have Incredible Hulk, issue number 17 from Phil Kennedy Johnson. And look at that. Nick Klein is back on the book. Yay. <laughs> Looks like we're finally out of like the history lesson arc and we're back to what we were doing, which is, you know, Hulk is going to Vegas to save this girl that's been kind of his apprentice, I guess you could say. But, you know, I, the fact that Nick Klein's on the book has me elated. I think Phil Kennedy Johnson's been doing a fine job. It's just when we start doing these like, Back in the past things, I'm not that interested into it. I'm sure, obviously, it'll link into the main story, but, like, I just want to read Incredible Hulk. Oh, Hulk smash. Hulk smash. All right, after that, we have Ultimate X-Men issue number seven from Peach Pomoko, and we are getting her version of Psylocke here. If that doesn't excite you, I don't know what will, <laughs> right? This series has been a lot of fun. There, It's, you know, some people don't like it. Some people do. I'm in the camp of I really love it. I think it's a great way for a creator to allow her to just make her own version of the X-Men. Isn't that the whole idea about Ultimates? It's different. And this is definitely different. It is not even in the same level of what's going on with the Ultimate characters, which because there's some form of um, similarity. And in this, it's just a completely different world. So we'll see how true her Psylocke is to the 616. I'm betting not. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. All right, the last book of the night is X-Men issue number four from Jed McKay, and we do not have Ryan Stegman on the art. We have a new artist. The way this has been solicited is we're kind of doing this like influencer who's filming the X-Men and kind of shining them in a violent light. I don't think that's like anything new. You know, issue three was actually really good. I think uh, Cyclops is definitely uh, getting some uh, crazy one-liners, and I'm, I know that just fires up Nate, but it is what it is. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens here. I'm not going to be one of those guys that's like, oh, this is catered to, like, Gen Z. I don't care about that. But the way it is listed is it's going to be, like, through the eyes of an influencer. So take that however you want. I'm I'm looking forward to it. I think the book is, is steadily getting better as we progress into the count. So we'll just have to wait and see. But, uh, you know, I have high hopes, which means... It could betray me, and there could be a, a hard fall. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's new comic day video for the week of September 18th. Let me know down in the comments, what are you picking up today? What are you reading first? And what's your potential pick of the week? As always, make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and give us a like. It'd be much appreciated as we're on the road to 1,250 subscribers. But we can't do it without your help and your support. So please, if you're not already subbed, hit that sub button, ring that bell, and give us a like. We'll catch you guys live this Saturday, 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll talk about all these books and more. We'll just hang out, have a good time. As always, comic fam, be kind to one another and read more comics. Later.